Good afternoon, my name is Pop. There is a wonderful new feature which has been added to the latest version of Caliber. The latest version is 3.23. And I'm going to show how to use this new feature by opening up a book in the editor. And I've already got it open here. And this is a feature that allows you to not just rename in bulk all of the images in a book numerically, but also to numerically order the images in a book in their order of appearance. And the way you do this is to just hold down the shift key and select all of the images that you want to. And while still holding down the shift key, right click and You've seen this before where it says bulk rename, but a new box has been added which you can click. And this box right here is rename the selected files according to the order they appear in the book instead of the order they were selected in. So the first image appearing in the book now is going to be called one. The second image in the book will be called two and so on. So I'm going to put a check mark in that. Hit OK. Now I've got a prefix I just added in there, just a dash. You could put anything you wanted to. You could put XYZ or just Z. And hit OK. Now, when I go up to this image right here and go to that image inside of the editor, That'll be the first image in the book. This is the second image in the book, third image in the book, fourth image in the book. I would like to uh, go uh, to the internet now and show you how this came about. This uh, is very interesting. Uh, the Mobile Read Forum uh, has a dedication to Caliber, and here are some uh, questions which have been uh, added and this one right here is numerically rename images and reorder the images. And here is, I am the original poster here asking uh, uh, if this could be done. And uh, the answer was, well, you can you can sort text, but not images. And and here the fellow who is the writer of Caliber, his name is Covid. He says, no, there is no such tool. And then another fellow asked, uh, well, uh, he, you know, he, he offered an alternative. And they had, they, they, they did actually do some brainstorming here. And uh, the guy who wrote it says, well, can't you just do this or do that? And the other fellow countered, yeah, you can, but it's a little bit slower. And then he added the new feature and this is what it looks like. Uh, this is the actual programming uh, addendum which put in that little check box and this is the programming code which does that. Uh, I, My name is Pop and I thank you very very much.